Hi. This lesson is about verbs that may be followed by either infinitives or gerunds, but with a difference in meaning. There are a few verbs that can be followed by a gerund or an infinitive, but they have a different meaning depending on whether a gerund or infinitive is used. Stop, remember, forget, regret, and try are good examples of these verbs. Stop plus a gerund means to stop an activity. Hannah stopped watching the news. This means she quit. Hannah was watching the news, but it was depressing, so she stopped watching it. She decided to do something else instead. Stop plus an infinitive means to stop one thing in order to do something else. Hannah studied all night last night. She only stopped to watch the news. This means she stopped studying in order to watch the news. Remember plus a gerund means to recall something that happened in the past. I remember turning off the stove. I have a memory of that event. Remember plus an infinitive means to remember to perform or complete a responsibility or task. I remembered to turn off the stove. It was my responsibility to turn off the stove and I did it. Forget plus a gerund means to forget that something happened in the past. I forgot turning off the stove. This means I turned off the stove, but I don't have a memory of turning it off. Forgot plus an infinitive means to forget to perform or complete a responsibility or task. I forgot to turn off the stove. This means it was my responsibility to turn off the stove, but I didn't do it. Regret with a gerund means to look back at the past and feel bad about it. It's similar to saying, I'm sorry that I did something. I regret skipping my homework. I didn't do my homework, and now I feel sorry that I made this mistake. Regret with an infinitive is used to inform someone of some bad news. It's similar to saying, I'm sorry to tell you something. I regret to inform you that you did not pass the test. I'm sorry to tell you this bad news. Try with a gerund talks about making an experiment. Try doing something to see if it works. The baby won't go to sleep. I'll try singing to her. Try plus an infinitive means to make an effort to do something. Have you heard from Ellen? I tried to call her, but she didn't answer. Now you need to try to learn to use these verbs. Try doing all of the exercises in the book and on My English Lab.